there are so many things I just don't understand, okay? One, electrons, like, I, I don't understand it. Bluetooth, how, what is, is that witchcraft? Boxers and pants, how, how, do the, how does that fit? How is that comfortable? How people drive without crying. Netflix originals. How is it that they have millions of dollars to spend on these movies that they're making, but they only charge like eight to ten dollars of like membership? I swear to God, I need wine. It's really hard to say, oh, guess what? You're probably gonna find this at your grocery store. Oh my God. Ah, oh, somebody come get me. Hi guys. All right, so for today's Dollar Tree haul, I found some amazing stuff. So you definitely have to grab your notepad, your pen, pencil, crayon, like whatever it is, because you might want to write some of these things down to maybe hunt for through your Dollar Tree stores. Now, the first two things I'm going to show you are books. And if you're not new to shopping at Dollar Tree, then you know this is, I don't know if the word is, it's not subjective, but it's just one of those things where books are just not going to be, I don't think, equally distributed throughout Dollar Tree. So who knows? Hopefully you guys will find these books in case they're of any interest to you. But honestly, I feel like if there's anything in Dollar Tree, the books for a dollar is probably one of the most impressive things. Comment down below. Let me know what you think is the best. Is it organization stuff? Is it books? Is it... Uh, DIY material, toys, like what do you guys think is just top notch, the best hands down for a dollar? I really think books is probably either number one or number two for me um, because they come from big major retailers like Barnes and Noble, Walmart, Target, and things like that that once retailed for like 20 to 30 bucks and they're a dollar at Dollar Tree. So this book right here is absolutely gorgeous. It's just stunning. It's one of those beautiful pieces that I think you could definitely put out like on your countertop, you know, buy a little like uh, book stand or whatever, flip open to a page and have it out like this and it just looks really beautiful in your kitchen. And then not to mention that obviously you are getting some amazing recipes in them as well. This one is called Cooking Wild more than 150 recipes for eating close to nature. And I just wanna show you guys the cover again because it's so beautiful. And even on that level, this is gonna be great for a gift basket if you wanna put together something for somebody that you know like they're buying their first home or they're moving into a new place. This would be really beautiful. This, maybe like a bottle of wine, you know, like kitchen towel, that whole thing, put it in a nice wicker basket and honestly, I think it would shock people if you told them that you got this for a dollar. I really do. So there's that. And then I found this book right here. And I want to show you guys that we've got this green sticker again. And this green sticker comes from Walmart. At least from my Walmarts because they have like these like middle caps at my store where there's like just bends of books and they all have this green tag on them so i know that they came from my walmart store yeah look it once retailed at 28 dollars what and if you don't know and you're new to my channel i do a lot of decorating on this channel as well so if that's of any interest to you click subscribe before you leave and then you'll be able to like see all my videos pop up in your um in your feed and i'm gonna be uh, showing you guys like I mentioned my library reveal soon. So I have a what's supposed to be like a formal dining room But I'm not using it as a dining room I'm using it as a library. It's right back in there So I love finding books at Dollar Tree and especially like these that just have that uh, Future fantasy style like Hunger Games or Twilight. I really love those So this one I think looks like that and I also feel like do I have this in, do I have this author? I don't know. This one's called Feverborn. It's a fever novel. I don't think I have any of the other books. So anyways, really beautiful cover. Look how big that book is. A dollar, like that's just absolutely nuts. 
Okay, then I found in the tool bench, so if you look at this label right here, this is a label within Dollar Tree. It has like its own, not its own aisle, I think it shares it with other things, but definitely look in the tool bench section because they have some really good finds, like this being one of them. I feel like this is a new release. They've done these little organization fish box, toolbox kind of thing before, but I feel like this one definitely is new. And I say that because this little like rubber grip right here, and then they have it again. Um, actually, they have it right here on the on the outside. I really don't know. I don't know. It's like it's, it's to grip, but that feature definitely seems new. I wanted to get this because I want to organize batteries. Um, you know, after the whole polar vortex thing, I'm trying to be like a little bit more prepared, a little bit more organized. So I don't know how well, to be honest, that this will work for batteries, but for all of my gals that love crafting, you have your own craft space, like whatever it is, I would write this down and see if you can't find it at Dollar Tree because I mean, it's a dollar. So that's a really amazing deal. So, but I'm thinking I'm going to use these for batteries, but they may only work for like the smaller ones. I don't know. So there's, there's that. Okay. Not too long ago, I showed you guys that I found fabric paint at Dollar Tree, which just blew my mind. And I found it again in this red color. Now off the bat, this spray can is a lot smaller than the green one, the kiwi color I showed you guys, but I feel like it might've been the same brand, Tulip. I'm not sure. But just to show you guys that this is an instant fabric color, if my camera would focus, there we go. So these items I don't think comes from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is a combination of things coming from straight from their warehouse and then things they I think they acquire from like other stores. So I think this is one of them, meaning that, you know, if you don't scoop them up right away, you might not ever see them again. So anyways, fabric paint for a dollar. Definitely be on the lookout for that. I also picked up some hand soap. These are definitely new. It's by this brand called Lucky Super Soft. I don't know. I've, I've never heard of that brand before. Comment down below and let me know what you know about it. It says washes away germs. <laughs> um, okay, revitalizing hand soap. And let's see, let's see how well, how it smells. Oh, it smells good. I love it. It does have a citrusy scent. And sometimes I tend to prefer more lemons and not so much the citrus scent because I don't feel like it's, I don't know, my, my sense of smell sometimes doesn't really like citrus, but this is a really good one. And then you can see it has this little, this is, see, that's interesting because this is hand soap, but this has more of a like dish soap lid. You know what I mean? But I'm just using these as, as a refill because in my kitchen I have an automatic hand soap dispenser that I got from Amazon. So these will just, I'll just pour them in there. And if you're interested, I'll link mine down below. Okay, then I found this soap right here, spa soap. Look how beautiful this is. This is also new. So if you're in the market to like get some soap, maybe you're decorating a space and you're doing like maybe a color theme and that's a thing for you. We've got this beautiful blue color. This one's called Ocean Breeze. And what's different about this one is that it's a foaming soap. So definitely um, consider that if you're going to click on the link that I'm gonna give you guys for my Amazon hand soap dispenser because the one that I have takes this kind of soap, not foaming soap. So I will link a foam dispenser down below too because my daughter has one. That's why I got this one. I got this one as like a refill for her automatic dispenser, but the the lid, by the way, or the pump is really nice. It looks like really strong and like the good kind. Oh, I have to go back and get more of these. This ocean breeze smells, it's, it smells like an ocean breeze, honestly. They nailed it. I like, I like that one. Okay, so we've got those. And then I found a new jade roller. I'm very excited about this because it's in black. The last time that Dollar Tree put out jade rollers, they were like the jade color, like the green. 
but now they have a new color with the black and they also have like a creamy beige color too but be on the lookout when you're um grabbing these at dollar tree because some of these handles were broken in half and i almost was kind of confused i didn't know if it was like a second separate piece until i looked up close and i was like oh no the handle is like actually broken so definitely um double check your packaging and make sure that the handle isn't broken these are going to be great for an easter basket for somebody that is older you know like a teen girl this is another one of those items where i would put this down on your notepad because jade rollers are amazing and again this new color is so awesome i got those and then let's see i found some table runners and this is definitely new i've never seen dollar tree do a table runner like this and they're saying that it's a glitter table runner and these are two different colors they're the only ones that i found so i'm going to go ahead and open one so that we can just see what we're dealing with because i was just like oh that's interesting let's see yeah i mean wow pretty long it's pretty good space automatically my brain just thinks graduation like if this was available at the time of my daughter's graduation um, for high school a couple years ago I would have used something like this also it doesn't have to just be for a table runner if you're into crafting this is some really good material so just FYI I feel like you could use some glue here and if you like have a you know, like a happy planner cut out for your squares or whatever for your planner. This would be really cute for that too. So I think that's going to double for a lot of things. Just DIYs, crafting, parties, all that stuff. All right, next are some new uh, Crayola markers. That's another one of the things I think that impresses me too is seeing big brands at Dollar Tree for a dollar. Uh, and brands like Crayola, which just always shocks me every time. And it's consistently sold at Dollar Tree. Almost like there's some type of partnership there. I don't know. I don't know why I'm so interested in all of this. But these are labeled as poster markers. And you can see that they're selling them two for a dollar. And then those are the color options that I found and I, I sifted through all of them. I'm not sure if there's any other color options. If there are, comment them down below on what I'm missing. But yeah, like they said, these are poster markers. I don't know, you know, um, I'm sure you could probably use them for other things just to show you guys the marker here at the top. But this could probably be great for crafting as well. So those new i this is the first time i've seen them then i found some let me show you guys some of these uh permanent markers these are also brand new and one of the things that i always highly recommend on my channel are the dollar tree markers pens pencils they are always gen, gen, generally pretty good especially for the price Okay, so, I mean, obviously, if, if there's like a $20 pen out there somewhere, or a $50 pen, maybe it's going to be way better than a dollar pen at Dollar Tree. But in general, maybe in comparison to the stuff at Walmart, I'm telling you, some really good pens at Dollar Tree. So these are permanent markers with the assorted inks. You can see that down here. These are going to be cute for an Easter basket too, you know, maybe the person that you're giving to really loves crafts or planning um, or they love drawing, art, all of those things. And I love how it has that Eastery spring colors. So I think that's really pretty too. Then I found a piece of decor that is so adorable. This is just a little cactus. You would put like your little rings or something here, or you could just use it as decor. I feel like if if you like succulents and all of those things, or just the very modern boho chic, this would be a cute pickup if you're going to maybe be rethinking about 
redoing a space or a room or whatever and it's a dollar like that's just crazy I'm telling you some of the best finds are in the store all right next up are these toys that blew my mind this is fancy nancy i mean i remember reading fancy nancy when i was little and this is an entire little or not an entire this is a little set that has a feather boa and hair clips what and you can see i found it in the pink feather boa and the purple feather boa and just to show you how the little girl is wearing the piece but fancy nancy at dollar tree and i got these for my niece i think these are going to look really cute in her gift or in her easter basket that i'm going to do for her and i think she'll really like it she loves wearing tutus and and all the things so i can't wait to see her face when she gets those um on the same note of toys i found these so i think they're going to be a great pickup you guys for easter baskets it's a little like a magic water painting and then the water i think goes inside the marker here and then you paint and all of the little pages that they give you on the inside yeah it says age three and plus it tells you exactly how to add water to the marker and then we have a set for both the boys and the girls super super cute new also this is the first time i've seen these at dollar tree next up is this sticker two letters numbers these are great too for an easter basket um, but i got these i don't think i'm gonna put these in my niece's easter basket i think next time i see her i'm just gonna have this out so that she can play but you can see that there's all of these white little spots that's because you have to come to the sticker page and you have to get the corresponding sticker for that so that's going to be a really fun way for her to learn like her numbers and stuff i mean she's already learning them anyway but anyways this is a new book too all right this is going to be shocking for those of you that are a huge peanuts charlie brown fan because let me show you what i found what so this is like reading and it has level two so there's that okay so definitely seems like this was made more for a learning perspective and not so much like a comic book type of way but i just want to show you guys how awesome the illustrations are i mean and it's also there's a lot in here too look at this it's a pretty pretty big book sometimes you know you get like two pages <laughs> when it comes to like kids books and stuff so this is an awesome one but i'm just gonna throw it out there too for those of you who love crafting friend mail pocket letters you could definitely get these and cut out the images if you're gonna do a little like charlie brown theme so and here are all of the books that i found what new i'm telling you always new stuff at the store then i found some uh fake lashes these have been coming in through dollar tree here and there but i picked these ones specifically because i thought that they looked so like not i mean the most natural that i think i've seen at dollar tree some of the other ones especially the wet and wild ones haven't been my favorite they just look like straight up plastic but these ionies i said tony didn't i ioni Ioni on it. Wait, what is that? Y'all, I don't know. I don't have a damn clue. It says 100% handmade though. And I just really liked these. I thought I'll just give you guys another close up. Like those just look really nice for a dollar. That's just, that's crazy. Um, I saw a video where a girl went specifically to Dollar Tree um, to buy like boxes or just so many of these and she walked out of the store with like 20 of them so i don't know it must be really good so there's that and then here are some other little easter pickups that i think are great too and they come in these little eggs and you can see each one has a different 
character so we've got the frozen one and the purple and what's inside is 41 stickers and one activity sheet so there's like a little goodie inside and then we have mickey and minnie and then we have the lol dolls on this one this is surprising too like i've seen frozen and mickey at dollar tree for years and years now but lol dolls i think is kind of like hit and miss sometimes it's there sometimes it's not and i know these are pretty pretty popular so those are going to be cute so write those down on your list if you're going to be doing some easter baskets for that age and then the last things are some new drawstring bags and i've never seen dollar tree do them quite like this but one side is a net and then the other side is like a clear isn't that cool i really like that that's just very different and unique we have the black one we have a blue one what and then there's a white one these are actually fantastic uh i think they would be great to take to the gym i think they would just be great for uh college dorm rooms and things like that comment down below let me know what else you think these would be great for um but yeah absolutely also completely brand new it's the first time i've seen them all right so what you don't know is that i've actually been filming this video for a really long time because i started filming and then i just wasn't feeling it so i had to stop and refilm again and then at one point i was talking about dollar tree and said the grocery store when i meant dollar tree so it's been a day it's been a day but i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i'm going to watch summer rental because john candy is absolutely hilarious if you've never seen that movie highly recommend especially if you're into 80s movies you'll love this one but please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it loved it loved all the finds comment down below as usual let me know what you wrote down on your list and i'll see you guys next time bye